Andy and Mike here. We have just arrived to Orange County Fair Speedway for the final day of Eastern States Weekend. Michael, would you like to tell them what we are doing today? Uh, we start 16th in the Eastern States 200. And I think we just have warm ups at uh, the rate for that. And, uh, we're still having troubles with our small block, so we're gonna uh, diagnose that a little bit. And, if it runs, it runs. If not, then we don't race. Yeah, well, hopefully it runs. <laughs> yep, so walking in now, see if everyone's awake. It's always great when you walk into the races after everyone parties and it's like ghost town. I love it. <laughs> so anywho, um, yeah, see you in a bit.
got held up. Ooh, we missed it by one, guys. <laughs> by one, we missed the small one. Transfer. That sucks. <laughs> that really sucks. probably the five minutes of footage that you have seen thus far. <laughs> it is eight o'clock. Small block feature is over. Um, straight up already was laying rubber on the bottom of the turns. Um, so tire wear not too terrible. Um, but what they did was kind of like disc it up a little bit in the turns, watered it, didn't touch the straightaways. But, I mean, that'll definitely change it up than what we thought we'd have to be doing. Um, but, let's say we got 200 laps. Oh my god. Oh, 200 laps. Um, let's see, pitch strategy is pretty much key. Pitch strategy, what tires, um, when you pit. You know, at first, it, if they didn't touch the track, it was going to be like, alright, you're going to want to just pit early and kind of like pick pick positions off right but now might, what they did might help for a couple laps so pit strategy is gonna be key we've got mike parks he's spotting for mike in the stands um got the crew in here got eric on the radio in here so he tells us when mike's coming what mike wants to do um so we got ready for that. So live pit stops. I know people love them. I just, I don't. <laughs> I just I don't. I don't like two-way radio. I just don't like radio racing. Mike loves it. I don't. Um, 
But yeah, so it's cold, it's dark, 200 laps, I guess. Uh, hopefully uh, we play our cards right, make the right choices, stay out of trouble, and uh, get the job done.
took laps, rights, and fuel. So, yeah. I jumped down, run around, and see.
those cautions. What is it? Is it do I have dirt in my hat? No, oh, I do. Every time my kids on Williamson, like we're there, we're there. Lap traffic, yellow comes out. What the heck? What the heck? The guy is 16th to third. Not bad. Good pit stop. Um, there's someone's gonna add. Oh, Stewie got us line. Damn you, Stewie. Got us like. We run a second, run a second, run a second, and come out of four, so we got us. But the starts just weren't ours, like, just weren't that good. But, man, man, ooh, such a good race. <sighs> I know I complained in the beginning, but it's still cold, and it was a very long race. But at least we, we guys got another another podium. Oh, the rubber part was stuck. Yeah, yeah it's oh, I, I, it's yeah. I know that. Yeah. But yeah. I, I was thinking, all right. Yeah, it was a faulty. Yeah. yeah. It's got to be coming pretty soon. That was lucky. I don't know. We finished. So, a lot happened today. It was, uh, it was quite, uh, the anticipation all day long wondering about, uh, what we would need for this feature and uh, when the small blocks went out for their feature it was rubber and uh, they dug it up for the big block feature and so we really didn't know what to expect uh, the first 10 laps we got dust the uh, after that uh, it cleared off and we could see better and we started rolling the middle and passing cars and um, seemed like the bottom was a dominant groove but we were able to pass on the outside and and got a lot of track position started 16th got to second um well i think we were fourth when we came down pit road it was like lap 89 we came down we got fuel uh come back out and uh lineup kind of got screwy and we were like behind the lap cars <laughs> and then the caution came out 
and they got us back up in our spot. I think we restarted 10th, uh, maybe 11th, something like that. And uh, passed cars again. The car is so fast. We were just really, really digging and making making moves through traffic and uh, got all the way up to second. Uh, climbed up, ran Matt Williamson down for the lead uh, by lap 170 and the caution came out and the tires never really refired after that. It was frustrating because we were so fast before that caution and then the, the caution was very long. There was probably 10 or 15 caution laps just riding around around. I'm swerving, trying to keep them warmed up and but uh, tires were worn smooth and they just weren't gripping like they were earlier. And uh, When we refired, he got a big lead uh, he fired much better than me, and then uh, as the laps went on, I would reel him back in, and uh, through lap traffic, I thought I was starting to catch him again, and the caution came again, um, lap 196, and then uh, on that restart, I was bad again, and uh, Stewie got next to me, and I, I raced back ahead of him, he had fresh rubber, and he got, uh, he got me at the checkered flag by a nose, and that was a killer. I think that was quite a bit of money between second and third place. So, uh, I don't know. It's like, it's one of those things where you start 16th, we got third. It's a great day. It's really awesome for our team. Everybody did an awesome job. Our pit stop was phenomenal. Um, and, uh, it was a good race. So gotta be happy about that. It's just tough because we've been the top three car for like the last three weeks been really solid and uh, haven't been able to pick off a win and really want to and our, our team's very deserving they work very hard and um, just hasn't happened other things just didn't fall our way so uh, we'll uh, we'll keep digging we got one more race at Bridgeport in a couple weeks and uh, we start third in that hopefully we can pick that one off and go into the off season happy Wow, it's, it's, it seems a lot lighter than it looks right now. But uh, overall, guys, not bad. I mean, mm, the small block race didn't look, I mean, if we had to start last, that just definitely would have been fun. So would have been nice to get start money. However, is what it is, it happens. But to get third, I mean, ooh, like Mike said, second. I mean, first would have been nice, but I'm eating hair. What's going on? Oh, oh my, turkey trailer coming. Um, but yeah, I mean, the, everyone, it, this kind of racing, radio racing, two ways, live pitch stops, it's, it's not just the driver, right? The driver has to have confidence in the crew, confidence in a spotter. Like, we have to be ready. And, oh my God, oh, sorry. Um, everyone did great, everyone did awesome. It worked out. Um, Mike did. I, I told him to did overshoot the the pit a little bit. Gave all the guys a little run for their money, <laughs> which made it interesting. Um, other than that, I mean, congrats to Matt for winning. Uh, Stu for getting second. We got third. Obviously, I'm exhausted. Holy crap! Uh, they're finishing loading up. I'm heading up to the car. Gonna stop at the campground, see some friends. But thank you guys. Love you all. Uh, next stop for us, like you and I, our next stop. Uh, I gotta pause. Uh, I have a bag on both arms and a backpack. So next stop for us is Georgetown Speedway two day show. If you're in the area or you want to go some racing next weekend, fans are welcome. So definitely head down. Uh, I think it's just our brother racing. Wow, my heart is racing. That's, that's really bad. Um, Friday night. I should know this. But it's Friday, Saturday. Um, Billy's got the track championship title that he's running for. And then... Oh, man! <laughs> just... No! 
It's holding me up. She's like, the electric box is holding me up right now. <laughs> oh, she seems so confused. So anyways, Billy's got his track championship that he's going for at Georgetown and is currently running second in points for the Short Track Super Series South. So we've got two championships that he's battling for, so fingers crossed for that. So um, yeah, I'll catch you guys uh, next weekend. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, subscribe to the new newsletter down below. I feel like I'm slurring because it's so cold. Catch next time.